Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and today we are continuing on with the decorating of a intended flat journal, a writing journal. It won't be flat when we're done. It's kind of a misnomer because um, I am going to put ephemera in it, but I'm not going to permanently attach it. Um, so this is kind of a, if you want to have gift, gift somebody or, or sell a writing journal, or make one for yourself, a writing journal where there's lots of paper to write in, um, but maybe you want to add extra writing space, or maybe you just want some subtle decoration to enhance or inspire the um, imagination. So today, another simple concept anybody can do, de very beginner friendly. Um, let's start with the first, let's go one, two, three. Now you don't have, there's no law, you don't have to decorate every page, you can just decorate some pages um, or decorate every page, it's totally up to you. And there's a million and one ways you, that you can do this, so here's just yet another example. Um, so what I did was, I pulled out a little array of rubber stamps and I pulled out my little array of uh, colored pencils and I'm just going to, I picked some stamps that have white space inside the design so that I can color them in. I know, rocket science, right? But it's, uh, it's a fun way to add a little bit of something uh, on pages, just, just for fun. Uh, so I've got some roses, a mushroom, bird, flowers, and butterflies. So why don't we start with the butterflies? I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do these in black outline. You could do them in any outline color you want. And maybe we'll try, what does it look like with different outline? Let's actually be brave and be bold and do something with a different outline color. I'm just gonna pull some um, inks over here. We've got black. Here is blue, that's what I was headed for. Let me grab a blue dauber in the drawer, oh daubers. Okay, got it, okay. All right, that wasn't too bad. And I think I'm gonna put the designs on the right upper corner. You don't, you don't have to, it doesn't have to follow any um, absolute pattern. This is yours to create, so have fun with it. Um, this is kind of lumpy and maybe I wanna, maybe I wanna do this. Do I want to do this? I don't know. Maybe I want to separate this page out and give it a flat surface, which my my craft mat is never a flat surface because I've got glue all over it. Let me pretend I'm all fancy. Okay, I'm going to look for my foam uh, pad, which I've completely lost track of, but I have others. If I could just, I'm digging. I'm looking for, I know it's it's right here somewhere. You know how it is? It's right, it's right here Some. I know I had it. It should be very close and at the ready. Are you here? No. Are you here? No. Here? No. Here? No. Okay, let me uh, let me just pause for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, absolutely can't find it in this amazingly organized, unorganized space with all my labeled drawers. The heck with it. We're just going to use this little calendar notepad thing as a structure for some more firm. Yeah, maybe I'll just do this. It's kind of lumpy up there. Where is it? It's, it's lumpy everywhere. Maybe I'm just not going to worry about the lumpiness. How about that? All right. Well, we'll try this. One, two, three. So this would be the third page. Let me just stick this here. Maybe that will work. It's going to give me this upper corner, which I can now stamp in. Where's the butterflies? I was going to do the butterflies first. This is bro broken china. You can use any colors. doesn't matter. I don't know. Let's see how good this looks. If it doesn't look good, we'll maybe do something else. Here we go. First stamp. Oh, we got a nice background stamp. A little closer so you can see. Um, or we got at least a nice relief. And uh, maybe I want to color this in. Um, oh, broke the end of that. Um, maybe a little pink going on here. All right. I mean, this is very rudimentary. Anybody can do this. So it's almost like you're making your own coloring book. That's kind of fun. Okay, how about this? We'll just go all fancy pants. Super town here. Hang on, I'm looking for a purple. Where's a purple? Are you purple? You're kind of purple. You're like, uh, no nub. We got, we got, we got nothing. Where's the pencil sharpener? Du jour. Here it is. You can't see. I know this is a great pencil sharpener. If you're looking for a really good one, I love this pencil sharpener. I am not sponsored by these. Oh, I'm not sponsored by these people. I just love this pencil sharpener, and I've used a lot. One, two, three around usually does it. Eh, not bad. We'll take that. Um, oh, got marks everywhere. Um, it is an amazing pencil sharpener. It just, I don't know. I really like it. I saw another artist recommend it, and I this was back on when I was drawing 
um, before I did junk journals, and um, I just fell in love with it. Okay, let me just emphasize that a little bit. You, you can do that. It's allowed. All right, so we have that. Maybe you just want to be a purple one. All right, now we have a purple butterfly. And I'm going to, dare I say it, dare I say it, I'm going to juxtapose something. Don't like the word, but I used it because it's perfect. Uh, catty corner. Whatever. <laughs> um, so, you know, life's technical enough. We don't need to make it more technical. How about yellow down here? We're just going to go for a completely different color. This is the yellow butterfly. Of all yellow butterflies, this is the yellow butterfly. And this is just relaxing, honestly. This is just peaceful and relaxing. And kind of fun. Maybe we'll put the, the purple in the center. I can't, I can't find the center because I don't have my glasses on. Okay, that's not bad, though. Okay, so maybe down here I thought I might also do one. But this time I'm not going to color it in. I'm just going to leave it the imprint. I don't know why. It just feels very fancy what I'm doing right now. Out on the edge. Where's my butterfly stamp? Can't find it. Here it is. Got it. Butterfly stamp. Don't know where I got this. Some, something somewhere. Okay. All right. There we go. So now we have that. I don't just think it's pretty. It's inviting. And we carry on. Okay, so I'm going to go in the second signature now. There's only three signatures. Remember that, Pam. Um, okay, so we're going to do one, two, three. Maybe I'll do the bird this time. This bird is really cool. Isn't that a cool bird? Yeah, if, if there's no image on your stamp, you can just stamp a piece of paper and glue it on, and then you'll know what the... Oh, now notice this. My picture is this way, but my image is that way. Watch out for that, because that can, that'll put your bird coming sideways in the paper. We don't want that. No, so it's a good thing I looked. Um, yeah, that's not the first time I've done that to myself. So maybe orient your birdie the same way. That's not the same. Is that the same bird? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. So this birdie, do we want you in blue too? I will give you a different color. Maybe we'll do birdie brown. Okay, birdie brown going this way. It feels so weird doing it that way. Okay. All right. I think I moved a little bit on the paper. Oh, he's a little cockeyed. You know, he's not even straight here. He's a little, he's like, like tilted. He, yeah. Okay. Whatever. He's here now and he's here to stay. So maybe we need to give him a branch or something to stand on because he doesn't have a leg to stand on. He has two legs. I see the two legs, but you know what I mean? He's like falling into the picture. Oh, oh it's like, Shreds everywhere. Maybe this is not the greatest pencil sharpener ever known to mankind. I think it is. I just probably need to empty it. So you just squeeze those two buttons. It grabs a hold of the pencil. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. But don't do it on the paper that you're, you're doing it because it's like little dusts and shavings will come off and then you end up with this. Okay, so let us give him... Um, he's standing on something, a little tree branch that's coming off here. Okay. All right. There we go. Now he's landed and life is good again. Okay. Um, I kind of like him uncolored. I don't know. He's just, he's having a good time there. And maybe... Maybe I'll just leave him there. Maybe that's all I'll do. Is that all I'll do? No, I want to give him a yellow head. Decided he has a yellow head. Okay, here we go. Yellow head. So this is a relaxing day. This is just, I don't know, there's something very relaxing about a writing journal where you're just playing. You're, it's not heavy thought process. It's just fun little things that you can do on, we'll give him a yellow tail too, um, your own. And nobody can say anything. They can't say boo because you don't even know where this is going yet or who's going who's gonna to get it. Maybe you do. Okay, maybe you do. But I don't. <laughs> and um, I'm thinking this is okay just to relax and draw and color this in. Um, I'll just leave him like that. He looks, he looks sort of pretty. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll color, color this in. All right, just softly. All right, there we go. Look at that. I should maybe give his beak some color, do you think? Maybe like a little red beak or something? Or orange beak? That would be cute. You can do that. It's your bird. If you have a bird. Red, maybe orange. 
Am I going to have to sharpen again? Yes. Okay. I don't take care of my toys well. It's so obvious because there's shavings everywhere and my pencil. I want keep calling. I wanted to call them pencil crayons because that's what we called them in Canada. One, two, three. Ah, yeah. It's usually three. I don't know why. It's a good number. Um, cover your ink. Okay. Is that walnut stain? Oh, it is. It's. You can barely see it, but it's walnut stain. I found you. I found you, little guy. You're back in the. You're back in the action. Oh, oh that's nice. Okay, let me just give him a little orange beak. So I guess ducks have bills, birds have beaks. I wonder what the difference is. Well, I mean, some are pointy, some are more platypus-like. Uh, I'm sure there's some technical difference. Feel free to look it up and let us know. Um, you guys are great researchers. Maybe I'm just going to color all these wings in orange. That looks sort of pretty. All right, there we go. Oh, he's so cute. I really, I'm going to give him orange feet. Orange feet or yellow feet? I'm going to go with the orange. Just um, He's going to be a matching guy. He's got his socks and his bird beak are going to match. And there he goes. Just a little guy in the corner. Um... I wonder if this will erase. I'm thinking no, but we'll try it. Do I have an eraser? Looking, looking. Are you an eraser? You could be. No. Maybe over there. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Now we're going to see if I can get rid of this mess. Let's bring you in so you can see the mess better. See, there's like sh shavings made that mark. Let's see if this works. This is one of those kneading erasers. It's half kneaded. I haven't kneaded it much because I didn't need it. Okay. Is it coming off? Eraser number one. Not bad. Not the greatest thing in the world. Okay, let's try for that smudge there. Is it coming off? A little bit. We might have to do some over design on this to cover up for this. Because it's everywhere. Okay, I'm going to try this back up. This is a, a, like a gummy eraser. It's like a thick rubbery eraser. That gets rid of it. A little bit, but not really. I mean, it's a little messy. It looks like, you know, it was dragged across a road or something. Um, so I think what we're going to do, I'm going to back up a bit so you can see. That was a lot. Not that much. There. We're going to pull out plan B. And we're going to stencil. Oh, here we go. My tree stencil. My beloved, my beloved tree stencil. I've almost forgotten about you because you are out of sight, out of mind. Okay, so, so we're going to cover this up. I have this tree stencil, and I think I'm just going to do like a, this kind of a design. Because I'm here, and it's the only thing I can think of to do. Okay, grab a, a paddle. These are great. These densely packed paddle brushes. And let's grab, let's grab some walnut stain for old time's sake. I don't know how dry this is. Probably pretty dry. You don't need a lot on here. Um... Okay, let's just do something like this first of all and see where it takes us and see if I get all of the uh, the area covered. Let's see. That's not bad. There's a little, there's like a little over here too. Let's just go ahead and let me use a different color. Let me just use a different color and see what happens. We'll switch one of these petals. doesn't have as much on it. I'm going to now use peeled paint. All right, here I go. I'm stenciling now. Okay. Over here, maybe there's like some green area because, you know, might have been a green, greenish area. Okay, there, perfect page. You can't see squat. All the, all the hideousness has disappeared into the abyss. We are rolling. Life is good. We carry on and we keep writing our story. How about that? Um, let me all the smuts over here. Who put that there? Was it you? Was it you? Or was it you? Sally, it was you. <laughs> a little schmutz here to deal with. Maybe we could do a rubber stamp or we could do more stenciling. I think I might bridge the stenciling over here just to see, because I've got it right here. Yeah, that obvious reason, green, maybe more green over here. Okay. Rubbing. 
Let's see if I can go over that area and get it all. I see some shavings ah, in there. Okay, it landed in the right direction, thank God. Okay, so that's not bad. We did some good coverage there. A little bit that's showing there, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I think we're just gonna let that slide. That's pretty good. And I think that's just a pretty page. I mean, somebody can totally come and write an entire story this way or down here and down here. It's just a little something, you know what I mean? So if you do have a few of these ink pads, and you've got some rubber stamps and things like that. You can go places and do things. That's all I'm saying. I think that's a really cool page. What did the other one look like? I already forget, but I know it was three pages in. Do you remember? You probably do. They're all super smart and beautiful. And I don't know where it... Oh, right. It was the butterflies. That was a grand effort, wasn't it? Yeah. Branch of hair, like we're, we're doing art now. Okay. Let's go in the third one and we'll go look at three pages in from the last decoration. And what I have, I have some roses. I like these. Oh, let's do some rose stamping. Okay, this time I am going to use black, black soot. And can we put that over here, Pam, so it doesn't get everywhere. Let me back you up a little bit. I'm going to take this first rose stamp. Oh, I got an idea. Okay, all right. A little bit off the top. Nope, missed it. A little bit off the top. Okay. And then down, like staggered, staggered. Oh, you can, can you see? It's not coming up that strong, but it's here. It's okay. Okay, it's almost gonna look like wallpaper, I think. And then I thought maybe this one I would intersperse. But I feel like I wanna go across the whole page. So let's, let's just keep going with this, seeing where it takes us. Okay. And now this is the other rose. I don't know if it's going to fit. Oh, maybe I'm just going to go sideways with these. I don't know. That's kind of weird and different, right? There, a heifer. This is to confuse the eye. Have I confused you yet? I don't know what I'm doing. But just random design stuff. Hanging off the edge, hanging off the edge. Maybe one more here. Okay, kind of cool. I like it. Um, there we go. Oh, this is like cool. I think it's pretty. <laughs> um, yep, there we go. Okay. So it's just random whatnot. Um, you can color this in or leave it blank. You don't have to color it in. There's no rule. There's no law. Um, at least not yet. And um, no standardized way of doing anything in this junk journal world. Don't let anybody th make you think otherwise. Um, <laughs> no, they're all good folks out there and they're giving you the best of their knowledge. And I think I'm going to maybe do, I feel like I want to do like pink roses maybe. Maybe this will be, okay, how about these will be, where are you? Can you see? These will be pink roses. This is Pam coloring. I know, fascinating, right? You could do this too at home. Very relaxing. So grab your little colored pencils, steal them from your children, go to the Dollar Tree, get yourself a little pack. They don't have to be expensive or fancy, not at all. If you don't have colored pencils, maybe use crayons. Um, if you don't have crayons, you could use makeup. You could use gelatos. You could use a lot of things. Just soft color in. And I think these are probably somewhat blendable of some, I don't know, are they blendable? I don't know. We're not gonna blend them. Nah, that's not that's going on here. No, that's fancy. We're not going fancy, okay. We're just, we're, we're drawing like an adult who has no idea how to draw color. You know, it's like, there's probably a technique to do this and I'm doing it all wrong, but I'm just, I'm just reaching back into the kindergarten days when life was simple and we just colored. We sat there and we made it good. And it's all good. Hmm. All right.
All right, here we go. What beautiful artistry is going on on this page? Okay, I think I have all those big ones done. Now I'm going to come in with red and do the little rose buds. I don't know why, I just they feel like they need to be red. And it just looks like a darker pink, really. But just a little more intense. I uh, got this one. All right, over here. There we go. And here. Yeah. There we go. And here. They hide on you. So again, this is like softly colored so that anybody could still write over this or they might think it's a rest page. Um, who knows what they're thinking, but we're giving them things to think about. How about that? There we go. Nice and relaxing. Sonny, he's relaxed. He's snoozing right away here. He's, I'm sure he's pre-planning his pup date. Are you pre-planning your pup date, Sunshine? He's not even answering me. He's, he's giving me the, the cold nose. <laughs> Instead of the cold shoulder, he's giving me cold nose. He's just, he's just sleeping. I'm going to totally wake his little petunia up. Okay, there. I, I guess we could do some green. Where are we? Eh, we could do some green. Little green leaves. I'll pull out a green. Here's a green. What color? What are these? Faber Castell. I don't know. Some, they're, these are all mixed up. I, I totally mixed up all my pencil crayons, my, my colored pencils. Um, so this is a way to have fun in somebody else's book. <laughs> Not stealing all the fun because they're going to have a lot of blank pages to play with and they can still write on this page. So that's kind of nice. I feel like I'll sleepy today, but I'm relaxed. This is, this is Pam in relaxed mode. It feels good to be relaxed. It does. So, you know, when you get lost in the process of just doing something very zen-like, very repetitive, very easy, if you're doing zen tangle or you're coloring in mandalas um, or you're, you're working on a flat writing journal and you're just decorating a few pages for the heck of it. It's all good. It doesn't really matter what it is as long as the experience is good. And I, I find working with paper very fulfilling. I find it relaxing. Um, I like the feel of paper. I like the dry, porous nature of the paper. I'm getting so deep here. I like the dry, porous nature of the paper. It's very, very uh, tactile. And uh, yeah, I just don't like it. And I know I'm not alone because you all crept out of the woodwork and you said, hey, me too. And uh, we're all a little weird, but uh, you know, hey, to be interested or intrigued, uh, addicted, obsessed with paper, whatever. Um, there are worse things. Am I, am I not? I'm right, right? There are worse things. So this isn't so bad. This is not so bad. All right. There we go. Okay, let's give a stem there. Ah, oh, perfecto. We, we need not do any more to that. That is just absolutely smash daggly fantabulous. Again, what have we done? We have done the butterflies. Oh, those are spectacular. <laughs> and then we have done, oh, this grand work of art. Yes, that, that was amazing. And now we have done this. And it's all really rubber stamp, colored pencil. Okay, we did pull in some stencils to salvage. Um, but, you know, just a simple example of what you can do with not a whole lot, and you can still have fun, like the big guys out there with all their fancy stuff. Who needs that? Nobody. If you have a paper bag and some felt and some paper and some rubber stamps and some ink. Well, I guess you have to have a few things. But, uh, you know, we have stuff and we're also very creative and resourceful and if we don't have stuff. Never let lack of a craft supply stop you. That's going on a t-shirt. Um, okay, come here, honey. Come here. No, boy, not ready. Not, not. Come on, it's all right, it's your turn. Not prepared. Oh, so unprepared. Hi, everybody, it's sunshine. What am I gonna do? Let me say, I think of something. Did you go for a walk today? No, no, there was no walk for sunshine today. Um, Mom got up late and she said, use the pee pad. <laughs> that's, that's kind of what she said, wasn't it? 
Yes, it's true. It's a little embarrassing I have to say that in public, Mother, but it's true. Well, thank goodness you are trained that way because we, we trained you from the get-go, right? Yes, yes. Of course, I can't really tell the difference between a pee pad and a mat. They all look the same. I don't know what the difference is. You know what I mean? Okay, so ha we ha do we have mats in the house? Not really. We have two, and it doesn't go well. Or I know. There's been some incidents. Yes. Okay, well, we're trying to have fewer incidents, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, do we, do you, okay, who gets stuck cleaning it up? Mom. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, it, she, you know, we, what is her solution? She closes the door to the room with the mats so sunshine doesn't make a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we've worked our way around it, right? Yeah. And we're doing a lot more walks, right? Right. We really like the walks because we thought we were going to the park, but apparently mom went to play pickleball instead. So unfair. <laughs> I know. Um, but maybe we'll go tomorrow to the park. Would you like that? I would like that. Yes, very much. Okay. We'll make it a plan. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to play with the ears. Not the ears, mom. Okay. Kind of feels good. Oh, I like it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put you down now. Okay, boy. All right. Bye, everybody. Happy crafting. Oh, big yawn. And we're out of here. Okay. Thank you, sunshine. Back in the bed. So, if you don't know what to do with yourself today, I've given you three very easy options. Just to have fun in a notebook. It doesn't matter if you just have 20-pound copy paper, printer paper, or you have fancy scrapbook paper. You can just make your own. I mean, these do look like wallpapers to me when they're done. And uh, it's kind of fun. Um... Just FYI, now let's say you make something pretty like that and you like it and like, oh, I would like to scan that. And then I might like to use those scans to sell. Beware that these things can be copyrighted. Okay, so you don't want to do that. You don't want to use stamp images and then scan them and sell them. So I don't know. I don't know the intricacies of that because maybe if you make a design that isn't actually just the stamp, I don't know. That You have to be like copyright expert extraordinaire to know the answers to this stuff but I do know that rubber stamp images are copyrighted and so I won't scan this and then sell this as a design but I can make it and then sell it because that I, I think is okay I'm sure somebody will come and take me away to crafter jail if it's not but I think it's okay um, check with your copyright attorneys that we all have in the back of our pockets right yeah so easily um, walking around. Um, so when in doubt, just don't do it. And um, yeah, just keep having fun with your paper. Who wants to worry about like that kind of stuff when you're just playing with your paper for gosh sakes? I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so um, welcome to everybody who is new and everybody who has been here. Welcome back. And um, uh, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. If you have not heard, it comes out monthly. Uh huh, and um, you get a free digital image emailed to you every month. A note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it. Checklist of supplies. It's a seven or eight pages long, just to keep your eyes open for as you traverse your world looking for junk journal supplies. Also, a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page, and also junk journal tips, updates from me, peeks at my new digi kits, and other stuff in there occasionally and uh, generally it's going to come all out on or about the first of every month um and then but if you sign up in the middle of the month you'll get that month's one within like 48 hours you should have it uh, and then you'll just go on the monthly cycle after that and what else what else was i wanting to tell you um well, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. My podcasts are Tuesdays and Thursdays. New audio material. And then I have video podcasts on Spotify that you can watch anytime. I have an Etsy shop where you're going to find journals, bundles, kits for sale when available. I think I might be starting on some fabric packs again. Um, so give me a little time. It takes me a while to cut these up. But um, yeah, so kind of keep your ear on the ground for that. And what else? There is an Amazon. Oh, I sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting paper like antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, old photographs, um, 
tea cards, music paper, dictionary paper, 100 plus pieces in each pack and you get free priority shipping with that. Um, I, I have a print and mail option for the digi kits if you don't have a printer or don't like to print. I will print out 10 digi kits for you. Each one has five pages so that gets you 50 printed pages and I print them on a nice lightweight cardstock. Sort of a little stiffer than regular paper and they make nice pockets or tucks or belly bands, things like that, journal cards. Um, but dum but dum all I need you to do is give me the names of 10 digi kits. Um, I wish there was an easier way to do it. Sorry, I haven't figured that out in Etsy. Um, uh, uh, send it to either through Etsy mes message or Etsy contact, whatever it's called, or to pam at thepaperoutpost.com. That's my email address. And I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. Um, you might be able to find links for those in there. You that does help my shop if you use those links, but you do not pay more for using the items for using my links. So thank you very much for, for those who are using the links and also for your purchases. And I have a, a t-shirt shop if you like the phrase create with reckless, a little, a little, a reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. And I really ought to put in there, never let lack of a craft supply stop you because I say that a lot. And um, Nothing breaks my heart more when I hear somebody say, but I don't have one of those things. No, 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 no. Step out of your comfort zone. Go beyond uh, your regular little world and find something that sort of looks like it or you can use in lieu of, in place of, an alternative. Don't let anything stop your fun. That's what I really want to say. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I have, um, you can find me on Pinterest, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. I have a Facebook group called the Paper Outpost Facebook group. If you can't find it, just Google the Paper Outpost Facebook group or go on Facebook and however you find stuff there, it'll be there. And um, we do weekly challenges, monthly challenges, and um, seeing what you guys make from these videos. So thank you for everybody who's contributing. And thank you for our admins and mods who are helping us stay focused and keep it a nice, clean, safe, happy place for everybody concerned. Um, just remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.